Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everyone in between. Welcome, welcome to another lesson here at howtoplaythesax.com. My name is Matthew, and here we are all about having fun, playing saxophone, being awesome, and repeating the whole process. And part of that process involves questions and answers. So this video, I thought we'd do another question and answer. Uh, I've been getting a lot of emails and a lot of questions. I thought I'd answer them in this video. I've been getting questions from my emails, from my website, from my YouTube channel, from my social networks, from my live one-on-one -on -one students. So I've got a bit of a question and answer session for you today. Hopefully these questions might help you with your thought processes. Please feel free to ask me any questions, just like a few people have that I'm going to answer in this video. So let's get into it. Okay, the first question from Kursat. Kursat has sent me an email and Kursat has written, Hi Matthew, I've been playing my saxophone for six weeks every day. Good on you Kursat, keep doing it. I've been playing my saxophone for six weeks every day. I am slurring the notes. I watched many videos on how to tongue, but each time I try, I spit, and it sounds like I am trying to play underwater. Any practical tips? Okay, trying to play under, sounds like you're playing underwater. Kursat, I know the problem. I know, I, I feel your pain. Some people are naturally salivary. Is that a word? Salivary? Some people produce more saliva than others. Um, that's cool. That's, that's the way it is. Some people sweat more. Some people are taller. Some people are shorter. Some people have blonde hair. Some people have black hair. That's cool. It's just the way it is. All right. A couple of suggestions. How do you play without spitting, without, without producing too much moisture? How do you change that when you're playing? All right. How do we do that? Firstly, a couple of practice suggestions here, curse at. First of all, just be aware that with your saxophone, yes, there will be condensation, there will be moisture. It's probably not total 100% saliva. It's probably not as though you're pouring, you know, liters of saliva into your saxophone. So don't stress, it's just kind of the way it is. Firstly, maybe a couple of suggestions. Can you whistle? Curse at, can you whistle? Can you Can you whistle? If you can whistle without salivaring, without spitting everywhere, perhaps that may help. Practice your whistling. Second little suggestion. Again, no saxophone involved. Can you pretend that you've got a saxophone in your mouth? Can you go and, and tongue with your tongue like this? Again, I'm spitting just a little bit. That's okay. Don't stress about that. It's not as though we're deliberately and spitting on our enemies. You know, we're not we're not being tortured and we're not spitting and because we can't slap the, our torturer. It's not quite like that. Can you? So again, I'm blowing. I'm pretending there's a saxophone in my mouth. Try that without dribbling everywhere. If you can do that a couple of times. Another suggestion, when you actually have your saxophone in your hand, after you've been playing a little while, whether that's 10 seconds or whether that's 10 minutes or whether that's 10 hours, it's different for different people. After you've been playing for a little while, yes, there will be moisture inside the mouthpiece, inside the mouthpiece on your sax. Suck it in. Again, it's not gross, it's not, it's not nasty, it's just a case of <laughs> sucking it in. So just as a, here's one I prepared earlier, we're playing. We've played and then it starts to sound a bit kind of wet and, and moist, sounds like you're playing underwater. I know what you mean. All you need to do is give your saxophone a little bit of a suck. <sighs> suck in. Keep your mouth, your mouth like you would be when you're blowing out, when you're playing, but actually suck in. <sighs> Swallow. That actually clears the, um, clears the moisture and gets rid of the, the, the rattly, the underwater kind of sound. So, therefore, Kursat, my suggestion is practice, first of all, whistling. Just whistle. <whistles> Just whistle. Second thing. Practice blowing, pretending that you've got a sax in your mouth and tonguing like this. So 
So I, my tongue is at the is at the back of my um, is just resting naturally. Then I poke it and pull it back again. Third thing, when you're actually playing, every now and then, and it depends. Different people will need to do it at different different intervals in time. Every now and then, suck in. Don't blow out into your saxophone. Suck in with your mouthpiece in your mouth, and that will clear the um, clear the moisture. Curse that! I hope that helps. I hope that helps. The challenge is, yes, you'll need to swallow, like you do when you're talking. When you're generally day-to-day -day conversation, yes, you need to swallow the saliva in your mouth. Same deal when you're blowing with a saxophone. You'll be fine. Keep going, but just remember, there's no crime in swallowing when you need to, when your mouth fills up. You know, when you're at the dentist, you always the dentist has a suction thing. The dentist is sucking all the saliva because it just naturally happens. Don't stress, but remember, Practice whistling, practice blowing without the saxophone. And you will spit a little bit, that's cool, don't stress. Third thing, suck in with your sax when you've actually got it in your mouth, suck it in. Third thing, uh, sorry, fourth thing, you'll need to swallow anyway. So when you're playing, stop, take a breath, deliberately swallow what's in your mouth, deliberately swallow the like you normally do every day anyway. Don't stress. Okay, second question from Andrew. Andrew writes, Matthew, what is the song or band or reason that made you want to play the saxophone? Andrew, all right, maybe I'm showing my age here. What is the song or band or reason that made you want to play the saxophone? Okay, how do I phrase this carefully? I am fortunate in, a, in that I have got some lots of musical instruments. I love music. I love all kinds of music. And I always have, since I was a little kid. I've always loved orchestral and classical music. I've always loved rock and pop and, you know, and, and blues. I've always loved jazz. I've always loved funk and soul and insert musical genre here. I love all kinds of music. Heavy metal. Love heavy metal. Death metal. You know, relaxation music. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So why did I want to, or what made me want to play the saxophone? When I was a little kid, Pink Floyd had just released an album called Dark Side of the Moon. Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd. Amazing album, still my favorite album of all times. The saxophone features fairly heavily in quite a few songs, particularly Money and particularly Us and Them. Money by Pink Floyd. Money, it's a gas. Amazing sax solo, rock kind of sax solo. Really cool. Us and Them, soft, subtle, bluesy, beautiful saxophone solo. Very quiet, very just just beautifully moving and soothing. So firstly, Pink Floyd. Secondly, my I was fortunate to grow up with a lot of jazz music playing around me. Uh, Miles Davis Quintet in particular from the album Kind of Blue. I had to think about that. Miles Davis, jazz trumpet player. He had an amazing band called the Miles Davis Quintet. He had an incredible album called Kind of Blue. In that band, on that album, there were two saxophonists, an alto sax player, jazz guys, this is full on jazz, jazz alto sax player by the name of Cannonball Adderley, <clears throat> Cannonball Adderley, a tenor sax player by the name of John Coltrane. Two totally different blokes, two totally different guys who had two totally different styles of playing. Both of them loved it. But Andrew, the main reason that I wanted to play the saxophone as a little kid and have successfully keep playing my saxophone, I love my saxophone, the main reason was Zoot from the Muppets. The Muppets from the early 19 and mid 1970s. Zoot was a Muppet, he had a big green nose, a blue head, kind of balding green hair, he sometimes wore a hat. He played the saxophone on the Muppets. He was in a band called Dr. Teeth and the Electric Mayhem. Zoot from the Muppets was my major influence as a little kid, particularly the song Sax and Violence. Sax and Violence by Zoot from the Muppets. 
he only plays one note and you know there's kind of a jazz do 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 and then he goes bop do 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 it's kind of like that and then and then another muppet comes in and they get into a bit of a fight and in pure muppet fashion it descends into madness andrew zoot from the muppets is the reason that i play the saxophone all right moving on last question Two people, and in fact, several people have asked me over the last week or two or three. But Robert has specifically said, and Terry has specifically said, Robert and Terry, thank you for your emails and your, um, and your comments. Robert, he wrote, I love your vids, man. Can you do some songs with tenor saxophone? Terry has written, hey, Matthew, I have a tenor sax. Any idea when lessons might be available for tenor? Thanks and regards from Terry. Robert, Terry, and a few other people. I'm getting the impression that tenor sax lessons are, um, are fast becoming a, 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 a thing. I've had quite a few requests for tenor saxes. At the moment, and we're in mid-May 2019 as I'm filming this, at the moment on my website, howtoplaythesax.com, howtoplaythesax.com, most of the lessons, in fact, all of the lessons are alto sax. Most of my YouTube channel at this point in time, alto sax. I've had a few requests from several people asking for tenor sax lessons. I'm in a difficult position here. My goal is to, I want to get to 100 saxophone lessons with my alto sax. I'm currently in the mid 70s at the moment, which means I've got 20, 25 or thereabouts to go. If I can do one or two a week, then logic says it'll take me a couple of months before I can get to tenor saxophone lessons. But I'm getting an increasingly larger number, noticeable number of requests for tenor sax lessons. So it sounds like perhaps I need to get on to tenor sax lessons sooner rather than later. Short answer. Robert and Terry, short answer, I don't know. Long answer, I need to do it soon, obviously, because you've asked, because I've other, other people have asked too. Tenor saxophone lessons coming soon. Maybe what I'll do is I'll do a, a beginner's tenor sax course, like my beginner's alto saxophone course. Maybe I'll do that. I'm thinking out loud here. I'm thinking on the fly. Maybe I'll do a tenor sax version sooner rather than later and then I can keep going with the alto lessons and get to my crack my hundred and then I can come back to my tenor sax and do them all again and get to a hundred tenor sax lessons. That's just what I'm thinking. So the short answer, Robert, Terry and everyone else asking about tenor sax lessons, not this week, I'm sorry. Long answer, very, very soon. Maybe over the next couple of months, I will get on to, um, I will get on to tenor sax lessons. Thank you. Everyone, thank you for your questions. Please come and keep them coming in. If you have a question about your saxophone, if you have a question about learning how to play the saxophone, if you have a question about life, the universe and everything, I may or may not be able to help you with that. But I can help you with saxophone related questions. My name is Matthew. Please visit me at howtoplaythesax.com, howtoplaythesax.com. Please visit me at my website. Please see me on YouTube. Please, if you've got any questions at all about your saxophone, about learning saxophone, about how to play the sax, please feel free to let me know and I will do my best to answer them in another episode, in another lesson, in another Q&A session here at howtoplaythesax.com. My name's Matthew. Thank you. I'll see you in another lesson at another time where... We are concentrating on having fun, playing saxophone, being awesome, and repeating the whole process. Thank you. I'll see you in another lesson. Thanks.